guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do things a little differently. I'm going to do a what's on my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. So I'm just going to try to keep it short and sweet, go over a few specs and you know just show you what I have on my phone as applications. I do have the 64 gigabyte gold. I actually did want the 128 but unfortunately Sprint does not carry the gold in 128 and I was very highly upset about that but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dwell on that too much so um, this is just the phone it's very nice it does have dual edges as you can see here it does come with a little extra features because of the edges and as you see what I just did I'll show you again when you rub the edge It'll pop up on the side. It'll have your time, your alarm, the percentage of your phone, and if you want, it'll have the um, the weather. You can change that. It is an option for you to change inside of your settings. Fingerprints on it because I took the case off so I can show you how the gold looks, which is a very beautiful thing. And then I have my case. It's just a regular clear case. You know, it looks like a little scratched up and dented. Um, honestly, I'll probably order a new one because I don't like the way this is scratched up like that and I just got it so I didn't understand why it's scratching like that. But um, what got me to get the case was it does have the dust caps at the bottom. As you can see, I'll let it focus. It has dust caps for your charger and your, head port, and your headphone port so that no dust gets in there. So that's that. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop the case back on and close up the ports so jumping right into it this is the top of the phone we have your sims card reader you also have the rocker at the top if you want to change you know your TV with your phone it's called a smart remote that's what you have this here for you also over here have your microphone on the right side you have the power button here at the bottom which kind of does look like the iPhone but is better than the iPhone and I mean that you have your speaker, your charger port, and your microphone, I mean, and your headphone jack. And I think that Samsung really stepped it up by putting this at the bottom instead of the top. And I really enjoyed the speaker being on the bottom because when it was on the back of the phone, I would always cover it with my hand. So this is your camera, your 16 megapixel camera. And you also have your heart rate monitor, your flash. And then on the left side, you have the volume up rocker and the volume down rocker there. Getting into the phone, you can either put in your password or you can do the finger ID, and I'm pretty sure everybody loves the finger ID. So you would just, like I would press the power button and I would turn it on here. So to get into my phone, I'll just take my thumb here and I'll hold it against the phone like this, and I'm instantly in. So as you can see, my background is just a picture of me. And I'm the type of person, I do not like a lot of screens, so I don't have that many. So the first thing you'll see is I have my clock, I also have my um, weather widget there, it tells me it's 65 degrees, and I live in Harlem so it, it shows my location. So the first app I have here is social, and in my social I have you know Facebook Messenger, Facebook, Snapchat, GroupMe, InstaFollow, and Pinterest. For Pinterest, I really don't know what I'm doing, I'm not going to lie, I just actually made this. so. Hopefully I can figure it out, but it looks pretty cool. I see a lot of people using it, so I'm going to look forward to getting to follow is just for Instagram. If you have an Android, it's just to show you who's following you, who stopped following you on Instagram. So I have my clock, and then I have Instagram. And that's just my profile there. And that's me showing that, you know, I have the phone and all of that. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you can go ahead and click the description box below. And then I have my app name, which is at Copacetic Niche. It also has a link to my YouTube channel. Anything 23 years young, girls kissing girls, my type of hype. And it just shows my followers and I'm, I'm following. Following me on Instagram, you'll know that the girls kissing girl part means that I am a lesbian. Um, yeah, and that's just about it. Let's get out of that. Oh my god, this curry chicken was so good. Sidetrack moment. Okay. So then I have Spotify. Now Spotify is something like Pandora. But I would say it's like 10 times better than Pandora. And the reason why I'm going to say it's better than Pandora because you actually get full albums of whoever you want. So let's just say, let's just say I want to search Drake. So I would type in Drake. And I would click his name. Now it will come up with his latest 
album which is if you read this it's too late you can click it and it'll show you all of his songs and you can get that for free now with Spotify it is $10 a month but I think $10 a month is great for all the albums and everything else that you get free and you can also go down to some of their old albums like as you can see the Take Care album and it gives you all of his songs and you can just download that so then at the bottom I have my phone Gmail my messages internet and then apps and then if you scroll to the left of my screen it'll come up with the flipboard you know which I don't use and then if you scroll to the right of my screen you'll see I have my Play Store I have YouTube Studio and YouTube Studio is basically for any YouTuber if you want to check the status of any of your videos and how many views you got you can check it here this one is one of my favorite videos <clears throat> the best thing about this app is if you want to reply back to comments you'll be able to reply back without watching the full video on the YouTube app you would have to watch it goes to the video you have to watch the video and then go to the bottom and click comment with here I can just click a comment and reply back YouTube I have Amazon which I am an Amazon fiend I have Netflix Netflix is pretty cool I have Hulu which is one of my favorite because it shows all the shows that I watch and as you can see here I watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and yes I will be going to go see Avengers May 1st Chicago PD Law and Order and I do have Spongebob don't judge me this is a judge free zone next I have my mp3 music my ring droid ring droid is basically where you like you want to turn your music into a ringtone then I have SoundCloud a lot of people ask me where I get my background music from I normally go to SoundCloud and remix a song and I'll get it from there Cartwheel is basically a target app it's where you can oh, okay it's where you can get discount coupons for when you shop at Target you'll add it to your cart and when you get to the register, they'll scan it and it'll take its 10% off or however much it is off. If you want to know how I edit my Instagram videos, it's normally using Photo Grid. And PixArt is also, I use PixArt for my collages, which is a really good app. So I don't have a lot of apps on my phone just because I did just get this phone. But I just wanted to share what I did have and what I do use. Um, I have Credit Karma. If anyone want to know what Credit Karma is, that is to check your credit for free. So if you wanted to know your credit score without paying anything or damaging your credit score at all, you get Credit Karma, check it for free. Before I go, I'll show you a cool picture that I personally like. If you want to see a video on tricks and tips, you know, let me know. But I'm not going to do it here just for the purpose of this video. But something that I do like is if you go to the camera and get out. If you go to the camera and let's say you want to take a selfie, the back of the camera, you, you can use the heart rate monitor. You'll see a light up red. You can use the heart rate monitor to take a selfie. I'll show you one of the features of the Edge. And like I said, if you want to see a tips and tricks, just let me know. And I'll show you, but the Edge, just slide it over and it'll come up with your favorite contacts. You can put whoever you want. I have my brother, my mother, my dad, my best friend, Daquan and my youngin and you can if you want to send them a message you could just go it'll pop up just send them a message or you can call them and there's that for everybody you can pick the color you can pick what order you want them to be in if I want my brother it's like my brother I have him first my mom my dad you can switch the order up you just push your settings buttons and it'll take you into that again I'm not gonna get into too much detail on that so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time